So here I've got the 8-bit controller paired to the Apple TV and I can notice that the input lag is not too bad. It actually feels very responsive when we're accessing the menu screen here. And um, this is actually fine. However, however, now I'm going to add my Xbox One wireless controller as well. So I'm going to pair this up too. And that's now connected. And so what I've noticed is that there's additional input lag now. So if I press that, there's a noticeable delay. Whereas if I use my actual Xbox One wireless controller, it still feels extremely responsive. If I press up here, it's very fast, responsive. However, if I press down here, there's a noticeable lag involved now, lag that wasn't there before. I can just confirm that by going into devices and I can go to Bluetooth settings. And I'm gonna disconnect my Xbox One wireless controller. And now this feels like noticeably faster now. So for some reason, having more than one Bluetooth controller attached it introduces some input lag. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other tutorial videos on my channel, including some 8-bit Do firmware updates and also pairing tutorials. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.